Hi and welcome game devs, this is the start of a series in which I show the pipeline I use for developing a game asset, in this case a stylized rock. The first part is about sculpting the rock with Blender 2.8 and for this I use the brushes from Michael Vicente AK Orb from Blizzard, the link to the brushes is added to the description below. I switched here to the sculpting workspace and then I add the brushes to the project. I already showed this in a previous tutorial. I just append the brushes from the blend file that you can download and I press B to select the ones with orb in the name. And here in the brushes panel you can see them now, the installed brushes. And you can also filter these, just type A and then a vertical stroke. Before I start sculpting I go to the modeling workspace and then to edit mode and here I subdivide the cube one time. After that I return to the sculpting workspace and use the grab brush to build a simple shape for the rock's base mesh. Ok, that's good enough for the base mesh, now I enable dynamic topology with a constant detail and a resolution of 100. I could use a lower one, but I want to check out the performance of Blender 2.8 with that amount of detail. I change to the flatten edge protect brush from the orb brushes and give the stone a stylized look and feel and also find a shape that I like at the same time. The performance is not bad, but as we all know, ZBrush is unbeatable at the moment. But it's ok, we can go with that to sculpt a nice looking stylized rock. I keep on flattening different areas now. The video speed is now doubled, but if you want to see it in real time, you can just reduce the speed of your player. For some parts I use the rock noise brush to add noisy damaged parts to the rock.
For some areas I'm not really happy with the shape, but I can use the grab brush again to adjust it. In the end I add some cracks to the rock by using the cracks brushes, but not too many, just a few. I try to turn around the model all the time while I'm sculpting, so that I don't work too long at a particular area. Ok, I think we can stop here, I won't add too many details for this will be a stylized rock. Now let's look at the model from different angles and I'm quite happy with the result. In the next video I will do a retopology for the rock. The tools that I use for retopo are Blender with add-ons like Retopoflow or B surfaces. Sometimes I also use 3D code which is also great for retopo but not for free. Alright guys, I hope you liked this series, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, the next part will follow soon, stay tuned. If you want to support my channel, consider being my patron, this would really help a lot. Thanks for this, in advance, and I'll see you in the next one.